Hey guys, it's early morning here and uh, almost time for Hasik's bath. Um, again, another perk for working at home. Um, today, we're going to be discussing the top three tools that an online freelancer can use. Um, these are the tools, these are my top five. Uh, you can have your own top five. Um, but the purpose of this video is just to orient everyone that there are free tools out there that you can use. Um, so enjoy, and if you have your own top tools or your favorite tool, uh, let me know so that we can feature it on our next video. Thank you, and enjoy! Hi everyone, so what I did is I compiled my top 3 online tools. So I listed 5 tools that I'm frequently using. And uh, this is in no particular order. So let's start with number 1. The first tool that I have here is Google Pack. So we all know that Google is providing email. But they also provide Google Sheet, Google World, Word, sorry, Hangouts and more. So Google Sheet is like Microsoft Excel, while Google Word is like Microsoft Word. Hangouts, by the way, is uh, a communication tool. Um, there are other features from Hangouts, like calling a uh, cell phone number or any number. Um, you can also text them. And uh, that's it. Uh, um, you can explore what other things Hangouts can do. Oh, uh, they can also conduct, uh, or they, the Hangouts can also do uh, screen sharing and screen capture. So uh, the sign up link is below. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna get all these links and add them to the description of our video. So if you're interested, you can just go there and sign up for um, an account. And uh, more often than not, the sign up just requires you to uh, provide an email, provide a username and password. So yes, it is as simple as that. So for our second tool, there. So we have Skype. Skype is a communication tool. Um, it is compatible with computers, um, mobile devices like your cell phone and your tablet. Um, so basically what it does is uh, it, 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 it can do video chat and uh, voice calls. Um, it can also do screen capture. So if you wanted to document your meeting uh, with your client and record the, uh, the meeting, you can do it via, via Skype. So uh, there are other things that it can do, but the free features are more or less video call and uh, video chat. Um, there, you can see the sign up uh, sign up link below. And um, Skype is pretty useful. I think I've been using it to almost all of my clients. All right. So moving on to our third tool. So third tool is Slack. This is one of the most common communications uh, communication tool that we are using on the freelancing world so it's like a team chat well you can also do an individual chat if you want um, uh, most of the time it's the client who's gonna send you the invite so that you can join the team chat for their um, slack group and uh, all you need to do when you receive that uh, invite is just sign up for an account there if you have an, already an existing account you can connect it to their slack so that you don't have to create multiple accounts um, there's an instruction on how to do that um, don't worry it's pretty simple um, but with regards to slack um, this is very common with team that is uh, working on one project all right so to our next tool so we have here Trello so Trello is like a calendar where you can put everything uh, every task that you have um, you can also label it according to its progression like if you're starting you're currently working on it is it completed is it archive 
or do you want to open a certain task so that's basically how Trello works it is a uh, uh, a collection of template or uh, I forgot the correct term that they're using there but there are small square things there where you can put your your task and label it so what it does is it connects or you can connect it to your clients Trello and your client can uh, go over and check your uh, task to see the progress so if your client wants to check something whether to you or your teammate uh, or the group as a whole they can just check in Trello they don't have to to, uh, to have a voice chat or voice call with you um, and um, they can do it from there it saves a lot of time okay so Trello is free um, you Cam Kanban is, is like a scheduling system. It's like a, a calendar um, where you can put all everything, all, all of your schedules there. And um, it is very important, especially if your task is uh, time sensitive. So it's easy to, uh, um, uh, what's this? Um, check your progress if you're using Trello. So, uh, so much for that. Um, if you wanted to know more about Trello, you can see the uh, link down below. Um, I've also included it in the description of our video. So to our last uh, tool for today, um, we have screencast. So there are uh, plenty of screencast software out there, but I'm only using two. Um, so far, so I'm using TechSmith and um, the one that I'm using right now to record this video is called ShareX. So uh, screencast is, is like uh, a video capture. So it is useful when you're trying to show someone how things are being done or if you have questions. So um, for example, you're, you're trying to navigate a certain website or a certain process where you're stuck because you don't know where to go or maybe something is missing according to the written example so if you want to show that to your client you can do a screen chat or screencast I'm sorry and uh, send it to your, to your client so that he will have an idea on where you got stuck because of of course it's a uh, it's a video you can share there uh, you can you can actually uh, narrate uh, the the video if you want to. Uh, pretty much what I'm doing right now, I'm using ShareX and, and I'm showing you guys this this uh, five tools. Um, so you, your client can also use it to uh, well give you um, give you uh, instructions. So um, for me, uh, one of my clients loves to do that. So if you, he wants to uh, for me to do something new haven't done before so he'll just send me a, uh, a screencast so that he can teach me on how to do the task and then I can just play it over and over until I'm familiar or I have familiarized myself with the task okay so uh, pretty much that's my five uh, free tools that I've been using so remember guys these tools are free and um, what my purpose of, of showing these to you right now is uh, just to get you oriented um, maybe you want to uh, familiarize yourself with these tools because these are the frequently used tools in the freelancing uh, industry um, in freelancing everyone's to everyone especially the clients wants to save every penny that they can so if there are free tools you bet it will be abused sorry it, it will be uh frequently used okay so what is your favorite tool let me know uh write down in our comment section if you have suggestions maybe if you want to review some tool uh please let me know maybe we can do a video on it in the future and um thank you um on my next uh discussion i'll be showing you briefly uh, my uh, starter pack when I started doing freelancing 
uh, last 2017. So, um, well, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hi guys, just sharing. So when I started doing online freelancing, I only had this uh, equipment. So first a laptop and a headset. Look at my headset. This is a freebie. And uh, a phone. So I don't have anything fancy. So I'm using my phone to uh, serve as a uh, backup internet. Um, I'm also using it to some of my tasks because there are clients who uh, have tasks that you can or you need to perform on a phone on a mobile device um, not to brag but yeah you don't really have need uh, fancy equipment to be successful in doing freelancing you just need to be very resourceful so my laptop was a very old one uh, this is not the original laptop that i had the the one that i had was very old uh, the keyboards are no longer some of the keyboards are no longer working so i have to buy an external one um, for like 200 pesos so that i can type or uh, chat with my client and perform other tasks so uh, again, you don't have to buy a new one. If you have a working laptop, make sure to uh, utilize it. Um, just a tip, you don't need to buy a lot of things, new things when you're doing freelancing. Um, if you're starting, start with what you have and work your way up. The headset is not noise canceling. Um, there are there are other people who are saying that you need a noise canceling headset or noise canceling microphone, um, but it's not really needed. Uh, it's pretty convenient to have one, but anything that can work, you can make it work. All right. So uh, I hope you guys learned something again and uh, enjoy freelancing. Bye bye. All right, so what's your favorite tool? I've included the sign-up links in our description below. So I urge everyone, please sign up and try out these tools. You don't have to uh, really uh, master it. You just need to be acquainted and uh, get used to it um, because these tools are the ones that are commonly used in the freelancing industry. So I hope you guys learned something in this video and have a great day bye bye please don't forget to like this video share hit the notification bell so you'll be notified for our upcoming vlogs and subscribe